heavens His love endures forever He does great wonders His love endures forever He spread the earth out His love endures forever Upon the waters His love endures forever Praise be to the King of Kings And to the Lord of Lords Praise be to the God of Gods Hi you guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, I am actually doing some chores the night before the kids will be going back to school tomorrow. So I am just getting a little ironing done and I will take care of that in order for us all to wake up and move a little smoothly in the morning. And today, I just wanted to talk about anxiety. With all that's happening in the world, I can imagine the sort of anxious feelings and fears that may come up among many believers. And I definitely know that we have a God in heaven who we can actually go to for help when it actually arises. So I am just going to share with you how I deal with anxiety because it can cause not only fears and unrest where you will not have peace, but it can affect your sleep. It can affect the way you feel and function from day to day. And we definitely do not want that. So pressures in our lives can build and pull us in different directions. Now, these pressures pull against our sense of well-being and anxiety begins to overwhelm us. In my readings, I have come across some different information and that will help me and I have scriptures saved that actually I read to help me to better cope with any anxiety that I may be feeling. And I just want to share that with you. Now, trying to do too much work with too little time can cause anxiety or too few resources. That can definitely stretch us beyond our capacity. Trying to cope with financial demands of life without you know, adequate income can also make us begin to feel desperate and anxious. Difficulties in relationships uh, also can lead to deep anxiety and a sense of hopelessness. So what is the answer? We need a perspective that comes from God. So we look to the Bible, his word. So should we really be surprised by the anxiety we experience in our lives? Well, let's take a look. John 16, says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Jesus warned us to expect stress and trouble in this life. This world is filled with trials and sorrows that generate deep-seated anxieties. The key to dealing with anxiety is to not be surprised when it comes, but to learn how to respond when it comes. So while there are many healthy and positive ways to handle anxiety, let us never neglect the spiritual help the Holy Spirit promises to provide for us if we just ask him. So what are some causes of our anxiety? 
Mm, there are many that can cause anxiety. Let's take a look at a few. Genesis 3, 6 and 23 says, So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband, and he ate it too. So the Lord God banished them from the Garden of Eden. And that's Genesis 3, 6 and 23. 2 Samuel 11, 4, 12, 13 through 14. Then David sent messengers to get her. And when she came to the palace, he slept with her. Nathan replied, The Lord has forgiven you, and you won't die for this sin. Nevertheless, your child will die. Anxiety can have roots in things we have done in the past. When we sin, we can bring anxiety along with sin's painful consequences into our lives. Proverbs 21.17 says, Those who love pleasure become poor. Those who love wine and luxury will never be rich. Laziness and poor planning can also lead to anxiety. We bring that upon ourselves. Now, Colossians 3.13 says, Make allowance for each other's faults and forgive anyone who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you. So you must forgive others. Also, making mistakes can lead to anxiety in our lives and in the lives of our friends. James 1, 2 through 4 says, Dear brothers and sisters, when troubles of any kind come your way, consider it an opportunity for great joy. For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it grow, for when your endurance is fully developed, you will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. And Matthew 24, 6 through 13 says, You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. Then you will be handed over to be persecuted and put to death, and you will be hated by all nations because of me. At that time, many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hate each other. And many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. Because of the increase of wickedness, the love of most will grow cold, but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved. Adversities and the normal problems of life can also cause anxieties. Sometimes anxiety is the result of wounds from the past that were not our own fault. Changes often produce anxieties in our lives. And... Anxiety can build up when we fail to trust God for help. So what are some of the dangers of anxiety? Well, looking at Numbers 11, 10 through 14, Moses heard all the families standing in the doorways of their tents whining and the Lord became extremely angry. Moses was also very aggravated. And Moses said to the Lord, Why are you treating me, your servant, so harshly? Have mercy on me. What did I do to deserve the burden of all these people? I cannot carry all these people by myself. The load is far too heavy. So we see the intense demands of life have the potential to overwhelm us. The expectations the criticisms and the scope of needs and responsibilities can threaten to crush even the strongest person. In Matthew 13:22, the seed that fell among the thorns represents those who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life 
and the lure of wealth, so no fruit is produced. That is definitely a danger of anxiety, losing faith and being so concerned with other things. And we also see in Luke 10, 40 through 41, it says here that, but Martha was distracted by the big dinner she was preparing. She became, she came to Jesus and said, Lord, doesn't it seem unfair to you that my sister just sits here while I do all the work? Tell her to come and help me. But the Lord said to her, my dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. You see, anxiety can cause us to focus on the trivial and miss the important. As pressure squeezes our perspectives inward, we lose the big picture. Preoccupation with the issues of the moment can sometimes blind us to what's really important. Well, what can we do when we're overwhelmed by anxieties? Let's take a look at 2 Corinthians 4, 9. It states here, we are hunted down but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. What we can do is keep going, knowing that God is by our side during times of anxiety and can help us to keep from giving up. In 2 Samuel 22, 7, it states, But in my distress, I cried out to the Lord. He heard me from his sanctuary. My cry reached his ears. And Psalm 86, 7 says, I will call to you whenever I'm in trouble, and you will answer me. We can be persistent in prayer, knowing that we can give our burdens to the Lord. Psalm 55, 22 says, Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. He will not permit the godly to slip and fall. Isaiah 41, 10 says, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. And Psalm 62, 2 says, he, is, he alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. John 14, 1, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. The first step in dealing with our anxieties is to bring them to the Lord. Only he brings true peace of heart and mind. God's availability and promises provide effective stress reducers for us. Psalm 71, 5. O oh Lord, you alone are my hope. Who but God controls the future anyway? No one else but God. Who but God has a home for us that is eternal? no one else but God and who but God forgives our sins who but God can give us a life that lasts forever no wonder he is our hope like first Peter 5 7 give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you remember that God cares what we are going through we just have to cast our cares on him because he can bring us through it. We have faith in God to do what he has promised and we can be absolutely sure that he will. Hey guys, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. A Zamat Blue Dot memory foam pillow was so kind to send me an actual pillow for my shoulder pain, neck pain, my husband and I have been having trouble and we have down pillows and it's time to replace them. They lasted for a very long time. But it, it does go down and um, you know, you have to replace the down or get a new pillow. And so we were contacted to just do a review on this particular pillow. 
And I thought it was perfect because we really do need another pillow and I'm hoping that this will help with the pain. So it's wrapped and there's some, an instruction sheet right here on how to use it. They suggested this particular one for the problems that I'm having. So the pillow design is for backside and stomach sleepers. So the way it's designed is meant for any one that's actually um, having trouble with neck pain and shoulder pain. So I know it's attributed to our pillows. It's been really rough. This pillow here can also, if it feels too low, the suggestions on the user manual states that you can install another insert that's in here. So let's just unbox this and see. Now, we'd, we've tried memory foam pillows in the past. We didn't purchase any. We have gone to test a few, but I'm very sensitive to smells. Ever since I've had the kids, I can't even wear regular perfume or anything. Body oils, I can wear that. Like, it, it has to be a light scented one though. So, it comes in this packaging. I really can't do memory foams. Most memory foams have an odor. And when I sleep on it overnight, I just get nauseous and I or just I can't stand the smell. And they claim that this one doesn't have a smell. So just taking it off, I'm just gonna put that down. This is the pillow here. It has the blue dot. And this would be the side you would sleep on. It looks like this side here has the zipper part where you can take an insert out if you want it lower. There's this part here that can be taken out. But I think this will be the perfect height for me. So I would sleep on it in this direction. This looks like it might just no, I'm hoping it does. I'm willing to give anything a try the way my shoulder and the way my neck and my back feel. It's not that great right now, I promise you. So this is apparently the way it would be. You were sleeping on your side. It would be like this. And also if you were sleeping, if you're a stomach sleeper, you can sleep like this. <laughs> It feels actually really, it feels like it would help. And for the back sleeper, it has this portion right here. I'm looking at the user manual where you can just sleep on your back. Like, that feels really good. I don't smell anything. Normally I can smell stuff um, even just from being like near it. Um, like I mentioned before, we've tried a, a quite a bit of memory foam pillows in the past, and it just did not work. So it says the pillowcase is machine washable, and, and, and it can be washed at any temperature. It says mild soap for spot cleaning, and you can regularly remove the pillowcase to vent the pillow and keep it fresh. It just says do not bleach, do not iron, or dry clean or do not expose the pillow itself to direct sunlight. Our temperatures above 104 degrees Fahrenheit. You're right. It doesn't have a smell. I might have found the pillow that might work. <sighs> okay, we'll see. I'll try it overnight and then I'll come back and give a final to my review. But this actually feels really nice. Hmm. I think, yeah, this feels very comfortable. Alrighty, so the size is 24 inches by five, by, um, by 14. 0.2 inches and the material for 
it is the core part of the, ma the material is polyurethane it's non temperature sensitive which is good because it gets hot here and um, it is polyester we do have like maybe I, I can still place my satin pillowcase on this um, it, I, the, I really do like the design it feels natural for my neck and my back I, we did watch a few videos when they reached out to us in regards to trying this out. We watched a physical therapist talk about the pillow and how it could be a good addition. I don't know, we'll have to give it a try. I just, um, they reached out, I said, yes, we'll give an honest review. And um, usually with memory foam, we're very sensitive first off. The pillow may feel great, but usually the smell is what gets us. And so Zamat uh, has a 100 night free trial as a warranty on the user manual. And it also has a 10 year warranty on the dimensional stability and durability of the pillow core, what's on the inside. The warranty is valid from the date you receive it. And if you do have to return it, it says, if you're not satisfied for any reason during those 100 days to email, there's an email for a refund. But this is the pillow core. And it has some some sort of polyester wrap inside here as well. And the memory foam is on the inside. And yeah, I don't even smell the memory foam. There's no smell. I'm just grateful it doesn't have a smell. Um, very shocked and happy about that. If you're a side, back, stomach sleeper, where the different zones here to place your head in positioning. So I think it's great. I'm really interested to see how this does to relieve the stress and neck pain. I'm really. Never.